Hi, my loves. Good morning. It is Sunday. And what's today's date? I can't think. Today is... That's my son in the back. We're going to church. Sunday, February 22nd. February 22nd. So it is like here in Houston, I think it's like 11 something. But I just came on here today to encourage all of y'all. Y'all know I haven't been on here. I've had a lot of things going on in the past few months. I've been having a lot, a lot. But I just came on here today to encourage y'all to keep fighting, keep strong, keep you some good prayer warriors, sisters, or brothers in your corner. That's who has helped me to make it impressed. But um, keep going. Even with, with, I've had some issues with family, but I tell you to keep going. Keep asking God to help you. Get in the word, apply the word to your life. Eat it like it's really full, feeding and nourishing your body and feed your body, your mind and your soul on the word. We try to do this in our own flesh and our own strength, but I come to find out we cannot do it without eating God's word, his fresh manner. And so I just encourage you on today, if you're having family problems, so don't give up. Say some family affirmations. My family is healed. My family is whole. My family gets along good. My family and I are united. My family and I, we learn to agree to disagree. My family and I use kind words to one another. My family and I lift each other up. My family is a great family. My family and I take many trips together. Say you some good affirmations. Say some scriptures over your life. Believe it, walk in faith and move that way. I'm still working and in the process of working on continuing to believe that my family will be healed, transformed, restored, and delivered. Right now, me and my son are going to church. My daughter's at work. My, me and my son, my son and I have had problems in the past, but I believe and I declare and decree that my son and our relationship is restored 100 fold, that we are walking in our healing and our deliverance. And we just close the doors right now in the spirit realm, even for you, for anybody who's in any family member's ears, I bind up that spirit of gossiping. I bind up that spirit of mess. I bind the spirit of drama. I bind up chaos and confusion. And I lose the spirit of unite, unity on the families right now. I lose the spirit of love on the families right now. I lose the spirit of peace on the families right now. I lose the spirit of togetherness on the families right now. I lose the spirit of understanding on the families right now. I lose the spirit of good comprehension on the families right now. Because a lot of times, y'all, some of this family mess comes from people going to spread mess. That's what I come to find out. I have a situation going on. I'm not going to say any names or say who it is but i've had certain family members to come and tell me stuff that this person said or that person said or they might go and say something i said so i come to realize the culprit is who is spreading the mess who is saying what in somebody's ear they might say something like oh susie didn't pay you back your money that couldn't be me because i check her and then that family member got that in their ear and they'll go and tell to go and check the other person. That's why we got to be careful who's in our ear. You got to watch who's in your ear. I was just telling my son that because he was listening to rap. And I said, who is that you listening to? Because if you're listening to somebody, it better be somebody good. Not nobody who's talking about, I'm a kill. I'm a murk, murk, kill, kill, kill. No, you need to be listening to people who are positive because you don't need that stuff to get in your spirit because your spirit is sensitive and you can't have anything and anyone in your ear in your ear and encourage you to do wrong things that's why i don't watch any movies that's why i don't have certain people come on my house and i don't be around certain people and i don't get involved in certain things not because i'm miss goody two shoes but because my spirit cannot handle it so y'all i pray that if y'all have family problems that this encourages you i pray that even if it's some family members you have to depart from temporarily so may it be but don't give up on your family like i said say some affirmations i'm all for that some scriptures about family, believe in it, walk in it. Today, my daughter made me upset because she automatically, she gets mad when I use the first restroom because I um sometimes can't hold my urine. And I'm like, girl, why are you getting so upset? So it offended me. And I had to quickly bring that spirit of offense, cast it down and give it over to God because I know I cannot operate in offense. That's something I'm working with. So God is working with me with being offended, you know, and even with some emotions, um, anger emotions, I need to express my emotions in the right way and also show it to my kids so they can emulate me. So y'all be encouraged and know, don't give up on your families. Like I said, if it's something bad they did, give it a break. Spend this time while you are deported from them, praying that God heal you and heal them, that y'all can get back together in unity and restoration. God bless you. I pray that y'all have a phenomenal, great Sunday. Goodbye.